Hi, this is Hayden VK78JH and welcome back to Ham Radio DX. So today in this video, I'll be looking at the IC705 and the output power uh, that comes out of the radio. So this uh, video I decided to do after I saw uh, a video done by uh, the Smokin' Ape, his uh, YouTube channel, check it out. I'll put a link in the description and also above in the cards to the output power video that he did. Uh, he ended up uh, doing a, a test on VHF and UHF on two meters and 70 centimeters to see what the output power was on, uh, on those bands. And he found out that he was getting six watts out of his IC705 on 70 centimeters. So what I thought I'd do is I'd hook my IC705 up to my uh, test set, my service monitor, which is a HP or Agilent 8924C. So uh, what I've got here at the moment is a, a one and, about a one and a half meter length uh, or piece of RG58, which goes into a uh, Aeroflex 50 ohm through line dummy load and that will then be able to, um, I'll be able to read the output power on the service monitor from the radio. Okay, so I've got my radio set up here on 432.1. I've got the RF output power set at two and a half watts because that's what I usually run for my transverters. Uh, that's the, the power that I drive them with. Now, bearing in mind that I've got probably on 70 centimeters, about half a dB worth of loss on this piece of RG58, this one and a half meter length. So the output power will be a little bit lower than what's written here, but it should be around about, around about right. Okay, so transmitting now with FM, so two and a half watts, I've got no uh, SWR on the meter, and we can see there we read 2.1 watts, which is about 0.4 of a watt uh, difference. So. Uh, factoring the, the coax loss, that's about right. I'll put a little link or a little box down in the in the corner there and I'll show you what the calculated loss actually should be. So it should be around about the same, or it should be around about right. So let's turn this up to now five watts, see if we get five watts out, so 50%. And we get 4.12, so again 0.9 of a watt. That's neither here nor there, that's around about what it should be. Uh, now you can see that the frequency error is a little bit off, it's about 125 hertz off frequency, so we can also adjust that as well. I haven't uh, done any, any measurements there. So the other thing that I will show is, as well is if we go function, so that this is uh, powered by the external DC, so I can see there that the maximum power we can get out is 10 watts. So if we turn up the RF power now to 100%, we should get more than six watts. Once again, full output power, no SWR, and we get about 8.7 watts, which calculates about right. So yeah, um, my radio anyway, seems to be getting the correct output power out on 432.1. So the reason I picked this frequency it was the same frequency that uh, was used by the Smoke and Ape, so I wanted to do a, a like for like comparison. Now I'll go up in frequency because I know that a lot of amateurs watching in the United States will use frequencies up on 440, so just to make sure that it's not a frequency thing, we'll go to 440 megahertz. Again, running full output power. Uh, barely any SWR there, and we still get 8.7 watts. So also now, just as a bit of a quick test, let's go back to two meters. Now I think that the two meter FM simplex frequency is 146, 520 in the US, uh, running 100%, no SWR, and we get 10.1 watts or 10 watts, so. Yeah, my, uh, my IC705 seems to be fine and giving the correct output power. Now, I'm not sure of the differences, whether my 705 is uh, a Japanese model or a European model. Um, so I'm not sure what the differences are between uh, my test and, uh, and the Smoke and Apes test. My, uh, my service monitor was calibrated a fairly long time ago, but I have always seen it to be fairly accurate, at least with the power measurements. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the Ham Radio DX channel and I'll see you in the next one.